Hello, my name is Mark Featherston. I'm an exterior designer for Mercedes-Benz, and I'm here today to answer a few of your questions about the new Mercedes-Benz A-Class. So, a question from Martha Laliotti. Why is the new A-Class so totally different from its predecessor? So, Martha, you're right. It is a completely different car from its predecessor. If we look at the front of the car, we have a very different face, a new identity, sporty, low, wide grille. Then we move around the car, we look at the design itself, a much more expressive treatment to the surfaces of the car. And then what's also very important is when you stand a bit back from the car and you look at the proportions, we've clearly now got a two-box design. That means that we have uh, a lower roof with a very pronounced bonnet, which the predecessor didn't have. Our idea was to create a much sportier car to attract new customers. It's very rare as designers that we get the chance to create something from a white piece of paper to really create a new product. And with this car, we had that chance. And as I said, for me, or for us as a team, the important um, brief was to create a car that will attract new customers to the brand of Mercedes. A question from Dusan Boldin. How was the design received by Daimler's management when first presented? Uh. So, I don't know if you're aware, Duzan, but in the design process, we normally present three full-size models to our design management, and they're able to select one of the three designs. And uh, when we presented the cars, we had a, a range of ideas. What was a surprise for me personally was that our most expressive design, which is actually this one here, was perceived as the right direction to go in. And on top of that, we need to make it more expressive, a much more fresher statement. So the reaction was quite a surprise from us. Question from Sujay Amarani. What is the advantage of having sharp grill-like structures at the front end? Sujay, I presume by sharp grill-like structures you mean uh, this mesh that we have at the bottom and in the grill. Now, advantages, well the point is that these, uh, these grill-like or sharp grill-like structures are actually very important because we need cooling for the engine. So we need to get air, as much air as possible from the front of the car into the engine to keep the engine cool. Um, this car here shows the basic grill or mesh that we have in the car and as an option you'll actually see a more three-dimensional treated grille which actually has these pins that you've seen already in the Concept A class and you, you'll get this in the top version of this car as an option where you see these pins, these sort of um, gloss, high gloss, three-dimensional jewellery actually. And the advantage of that for me is um, not just as an as a eye-catching feature but actually that structure allows you, to, when you walk around the car and you look at the car in the side view, you can see how three-dimensional the surface is. And without that structure, you would see a flat surface. So here, although actually this mesh has shape, it looks flatter. The reality is, when you highlight that with pins and you look from the side, you can then really see the section of the grille. So not only does it have a function to allow air into the car, but it also has a design function to show how much section we've got in the shape of the car. Question from Hector Gomez Obregon, asked among many other Facebook fans, why such a radical change in the taillights between the concept and the production car? The rear lights of the concept car don't have to fulfill any technical and legal requirements. What we see here is the production car. Therefore, this mass, which on the concept car is actually quite small, has got much bigger. That's because we've got the brake light, the normal light, the indicator, the fog light. Everything has to work and everything is in this volume. On top of that, we've also got slightly different proportions to the whole car, if you look at the whole car in side view, and increasing the um, length of the light as it runs around the corner of the car helps to reduce a little bit the proportions and makes the car a bit more compact.